Hey YouTube, what's up? Today I got a review on the Wicked Audio In-Ear Earbuds Bones Edition. Before I start this review on the Wicked Audio Bones Edition, I would like to thank Empire Brands for sending this out to me. Okay, now let's get on into this review. These earbuds retail for around $15 to $20, which is um, an okay price for the earbuds. Now, these are available in Lucky, which is an 8-ball, Knights, which is a cross, Ace, which is obviously an Ace, and also the Bones, which is the one that I have right now. So the pros to this device are that it's a very cool design. If you look, the skull, ooh, wow, I'm a fail. The skulls look very nice and very sleek and stylish. Now, it's kind of slanted. It looks like it's going to fall out, and I've heard reviews that these do, that the skulls do fall off, but if they do, or if the earbuds break, these have a lifetime warranty. Keep your receipt from the store that you bought it from and send it into wickedheadphones.com. Another thing is that there are extra earbud tips. They're small, medium, which already come on the earbuds, and large. That's great. Some earphones that um they don't they don't come with these. This also has a gold plated plug. This is really good. It um this makes your device have the best sound quality in your earphones um, best as possible. There are some cons to this too, such as the cord feels very flimsy and very cheap, but I'm pretty sure that if it breaks, yeah, like I said, if it breaks, you have a lifetime warranty on it, so it doesn't really matter if the cord is flimsy or cheap. As soon as I listened to the earphones, I noticed that there was a big, big lack of bass. There's not a lot of bass in these earphones. Now that might be a problem with some people, basically it depends on what genre you listen to, but um, it does matter to me. I like a lot of bass and not a lot of treble, but um, if, you like, if you don't like bass then these earbuds are fine. I'm going to do my best to give you guys a sound test. I'm, I can't insert these into the camera, that would be cool if you could, but you can't. So I'm just going to have to hold these up really close to the camera and blast the volume on my iPod. So here we go. That's a pretty decent sound quality. Like I said, there's a lack of bass, so that does bother me, but I will still, still use these um, earbuds because they are still great for only around $15. To me, that's a really good price. The song's name I just played is called Sleepyhead by Passion Pit. I do not own the song, and I do not mean to copy the song. I just wanted to give a sound test, so YouTube, please do not copyright me. Um, so I don't, I don't own, own the song. Okay, so um, please don't copyright me, please. Overall, I'll give these earbuds an 8 out of 10 just because of the lack of bass and the flimsy cord. But the pros are very good. I will list all the pros and cons in the description box below. Also, uh, I will list to where you could buy this if you are interested in buying this in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching so much and supporting my YouTube channel. I will see you guys in my next review, which will be very soon because I'm expecting two packages in the mail. Thanks again. See ya. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you Empire Brands for sending this out to me for review purposes. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Click the earbuds to view my Pure 1000 in-ear earbuds by Pure Sound.